Hi everyone, today we're back renovating abandoned storage units. I'm at the coffee shop this morning picking up a large cup of coffee for myself and I am getting about four or five other coffees for some of the other guys working on the project with us here. So why don't we hop back in the truck, get on over and get to work. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Today guys is going to be a super busy day here for us, we have a lot that we need to get done. We're going to be cleaning up the entire property and we're going to be doing some demo work here. But look at this guys, we've had a lot of things happen so far and why don't we just park right out front here. But the biggest thing guys is we got the permits now to begin uh, construction and to begin work here. And you guys can see we put up construction fencing because we are going to be building several more storage uh, units all the way down here, probably two to three more buildings on either side here, really expanding and growing it as well here. But oh look at that guys, it looks like one of the uh, people that we're supposed to meet is here. As you guys know, these are abandoned storage units, and as I was going through checking each unit, there were some things in them here, and I found someone that buys uh, boxes and stuff from storage units, and he's given us a little bit of money to take everything out of them, which is awesome here. He did find some really cool old video games, things like that, and you guys can see he has already cleared out almost all of them. He had a big box truck here the other day here, but one thing, it looks like there is an old ATV here. And I actually have the key for it, so let me put the key in there. So he'll get that loaded up here, and we'll keep on going. I know this one is empty. I ended up looking in that. This one looks to be empty here, and like I mentioned, we'll be cleaning up here. So everything out front uh, is going to be uh, getting removed here. That is clear. We'll keep on going. Oh, look at that, guys. There looks to be something in here. That looks to be an old, old uh, kind of dirt race car. Wow. That thing is sweet. That is pretty cool here. So why don't I hop in the skids here and let me see if I can move this metal here so we could get this out. And I think I'm probably going to get started off on uh, clearing up some of the other metal. And I do have a few big trucks on the way here. We have a tow truck coming to remove this old uh, kind of flatbed truck. And a, a, a mechanic is actually going to be picking up the excavator here. He got it up and running. And he's going to be using it for uh, at some projects for his house here. But yeah, let me see if we could uh, get this cleaned up. And get some of all these tires and some of the bins. We have about, uh, about three or four of them here. And then we'll help him get these things loaded up. As you can see, there's also several workers here at the property. Now, we do have the Kubota skids here, but I also did rent a big cat excavator here. I thought renting would be a lot cheaper than kind of uh, hiring it out. And I really don't want to own a big excavator like that. That is just super, super expensive. Uh, but we'll get right to work here. And I also want to clean inside there because all those supplies... Uh, we won't be using here but the good news is we are able to just replace some of the structure here some boards and other than that we'll be able to put the siding on and uh, get that one built out as well I got everything cleaned up over here now I do have to spread that dirt pile I got that metal removed here but before we help them out I really want to see if we could get going on cleaning up in here. That way the contractors could get right to work. We'll pick those up here. Looks like we just have a lot of extra building supplies here. But these have been sitting for so long that we just can't use these anymore here. But projects like this, guys, are so much fun. There's just so many parts here to it. And I really do like these abandoned projects here. Now, I do have some really cool ideas. And hopefully, I will be doing more projects just like this. And maybe some multiplayer series to go along with this. I think would be pretty neat. All right, we're all set cleaning out all those supplies here. So why don't we see if we could get this thing fired on up here. It's been sitting for quite some time, but we should be able to prime the engine. Look at that, guys. This thing turned right on here, which is great news for us. That saves us a lot of time here. Otherwise, we would definitely have to be winching this up on 
of the trailer here, which would take quite a bit of time here. But although I might be able to uh, use these or even sell them for a lot of money, it's just a lot easier for us that he gave me a little bit of money and he took all the boxes and everything else here. Otherwise, I mean, we would have probably had to have another two or three bins because some of these storage units were full of boxes and just old supplies that really weren't uh, worth too much money here. And that's probably a uh, part of storage units is it's all the extra things like Christmas decorations and just old collectibles uh, that were once uh, really good condition, but just kind of uh, kept here and they just kept paying the monthly rent on here. But this is all set here. So this person's gonna be on the way and we actually have the tow truck arrive in any minute now uh, to pick up that truck. Perfect timing guys, the tow truck hauled away that old flatbed and now we have this big little boy here with the mechanic picking up his new excavator that he is taking off our hands here which is big help. So we'll get this thing uh, loaded up for him. Now one thing guys, he did actually get this thing up and running, he spent like a day just here at this property trying to get this thing turned on here. He had to replace a few parts but now fully works. And that is super exciting for him, but one thing I have to do here, just trying to double check on is I'm definitely going to have to put a little bit of weight down like this and then just slowly kind of fall on it. That was tricky guys, we finally got the excavator up on the trailer and he's off now back to his shop here. But up next guys, I really want to get back here to get these last little bit of debris cleaned up here. But why don't we hop here in this old Duramax and let's see if it fires up. Look at that guys, this truck fired up on the first uh, try here. I think I'm going to keep this maybe as a work truck. I think that would be a really neat thing here because this thing guys looks really really cool actually and I do like it quite a lot here but while I was busy kind of getting everything loaded up here actually one of the other workers here hopped in the skid steer and got the rest of the uh, things cleared up here you guys since the all in front of here is clear in front of uh, the other one is good to go here so why don't we get going on some demo work which is always a lot of fun here and for that guys we're gonna be hopping in the big cat excavator for the demo work guys, we're first going to be working on this fence line here. We're going to be removing this fence line, digging out all the posts all the way down to where you could see the construction fencing. So that is what we're going to do really quick here. I mean, this guys is going to be super easy here. We have a big powerful excavator and we have a small kind of old farm fence here. Oh yeah, look at that coming right out. And we, we're just going to keep on going here. But after this, guys, we are going to be going and demoing the old uh, kind of uh, building at the uh, end of the property here. So that's going to be a lot of the work today uh, once we're done with this fence. And just like that, guys, we got the entire fence line removed here. Look at that. We have a lot more room. Now, these trees, I'm actually going to wait a little bit here. I want a little bit more room here. Remove those bins and things like that here. But why don't we head on back here? I can't wait to start to remove this old building. Now, the problem with this one, guys, is I want storage units. And this one looked to be like an old mechanic shop here. And it is completely rusted. The siding is rusted. And the big support beams, more importantly, is all rusted out here. Here, so we can't keep it and uh, it is actually not safe to go inside that was what the building inspector said so now it's the fun part guys
The demo work of the building guys happened in no time at all here. Nice big excavator really gets the work done. I'm just trying to pack these bins down here because they are definitely full. Uh, and hopefully we do not get overcharged for doing that here. But guys, I think we're ready to go uh, to get going on working on the buildings next here. Starting to fix the siding over here. Put some new siding on in the new roof. And uh, a lot of these guys can also do need a lot of work. So I'm going to be working on that. And I think I'll catch you guys uh, back next week here where we're going to do some construction. We, we're going to build some more storage units, which should be a lot of fun here. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.